All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mod spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the 12.7 millimeter pistol mod, which is being made by user Deadpool2099, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is this: the 12.7 millimeter pistol, which some of you may remember from Fallout New Vegas. And you guys know me; I always love it when mod makers bring back to life various weapons that we used to have in previous Fallout games, as it just... Uh, it just bothers me when Bethesda removes perfectly good things, and this is certainly a perfectly good pistol. Now, as for what you get here in uh, Fallout 4 with the 12.7mm pistol is uh, quite the treat. This is a very beautifully made uh, Sig Sauer P127, which it does a base damage of 45, uses 12.7mm rounds, a new custom round added in, has a firing rate of 20 28, so it is pretty slow, has a decent range of 83, accuracy of 63, and a weight of 5.8. And with these sort of standard attachments on here, you will get, uh, you know, just the pretty standard gun with one <laughs> hell of a gigantic barrel on this thing. I mean, come on, look at that. That is just massive. Now, as for how you get your hands on these things, they will start to spawn in the world on raiders and gunners, as well as in vendors between levels 15 and 25. So you should be able to pick one up pretty easily, either out from a random enemy or indeed in a store. Or of course, you could do what I did and just console command them in but uh, yes they are a pretty cool gun with a very extensive list of modifications which is pretty awesome to the point where you can actually technically turn this thing into a rifle though I have to admit I'm not sure if it counts as a rifle I haven't really experimented too much with this thing yet but I mean it does drastically increase the range of the weapon adding on this uh, short stock onto the weapon which is is pretty cool. Now, uh, as for the ammo, like I said, it is a new custom ammo type, which you should also find in vendors uh, throughout the game, but you can also make them here at the chemistry station where a new ammo category will be added, and you can just build these provided you have rank two of gun nut, rank one of gunslinger, and three fertilizer, two lead, and two steel. Now, I didn't want to throw off the base level damage of 45 with having Having the gunslinger perk on because of course this is a pistol so we can't make any of these but uh, they are quite easy to make which is pretty nice I do always enjoy when you can make your own ammo now as for the modifications like I said we got a good selection of things so if we just jump into our uh, standard pistol here and first stop at receivers where we have a pretty standard fare here. I mean, we start at the standard re receiver, move up to hardened, heavy frame, calibrated, etc. Your pretty typical things. Moving up to the advanced receiver where you'll get the most damage at 78 out of this thing. And yeah, a better firing rate. Only slightly better, but still, <laughs> with how slow this thing does shoot, even a little bit faster, is a wonderful, wonderful tool. So yes, a good selection of different receivers in here, just depending on what you're looking for. For. We then have a number of barrels, the short barrel, the long barrel, a light barrel, and then a long ported barrel, just depending on what you want to do there, which is pretty cool. And I love the look of the long ported and the long barrel. It is very, very cool with all the little extra bits and bobs on there. Very, very nice indeed. Now, as for grips, not uh, as, well, not a huge amount of options in here, but still, I quite like that we have the standard, the comfort a comfort grip with tape for more of that i guess wasteland feel a sharpshooter's grip and then of course that stock which will add in hip fire accuracy and better recoil and it is pretty cool i do like the addition of this but again i i don't think it counts it as a rifle with this thing installed. I still believe it is counted as a pistol, as I know with some weapons, and once you get the full stock on, it does turn into a rifle then, but I think this is still counting as a pistol. Uh, now for magazines, we only have two options here, the standard and quick eject, but you know, still good options. We then have a pretty decent variety of sights from the standard sight, a glow sight, 
two different reflex sights, a recon, and then a short scope. So again, just whatever you are looking for there, you should find the option you need. And then in muzzles, we've got a good little selection here of either no muzzle, a compensator, a muzzle brake, a barrel extender, which will increase the range, and of course, a light suppressor, which will decrease the range. So you can, again, just whatever you wish to use. And finally, and one of my favorite things, I always love when gun mods add this, we have paint schemes. Now we only have three, either a uh, black paint scheme, a rusted paint scheme, or the standard, but still, I do like that even we have these three options. I, I just always enjoy that, because it just adds that little extra bit of personalized customization to the weapon, so you can get it to look exactly how you want, and that is always very much appreciated. But let's keep it with the standard for now, because I do believe, yes, this one is the black and that one is the rusted, so you guys will be able to see that momentarily. So let us go and take some shots with this thing. Now, uh, the animations are custom on this. The sounds are not, though. They're pretty standard for the game here, if we do take some shots. There we go, and we get a nice reload animation. I love the back bit of the gun. I'm not entirely sure what to call that, just considering it's very unusual. Uh, it's because it's technically, I guess, the slide, but it's comes out the back end rather than being the top half of the gun, but very nice nonetheless. And uh, so let's switch up to our ported advanced one here, which just has the longer barrel and of course a nice short scope. Same sound there, and you can see that even though we do have basically a rifle stock on this thing, we're still holding it like a pistol. And of course, finally, we have the suppressed version here. There we go, just a nice little thud of a round. Very, very cool indeed. Now, as for damage-wise, I mean, just on the base level, this is the most powerful I've been able to make this gun. But of course, if you do mess around with your perks, you can up this thing to quite an impressive amount of damage, just depending on which weapon specialties you go with. And actually, while I'm here, I do have a skill point. What the heck? Let's test this real quick, because it should be gunsling. Uh, perk that would increase the damage on this if that marksman stock is indeed adding in any extra damage. It did not. Hmm. Oh well. well actually, let's uh, go back in. Yes, it did. There we go. It since it hadn't saved, the actual perk didn't take effect. So there we go. The, even though it is a rifle style stock, it is still counting as a pistol. And now we have it up to 93 damage with just one singular point into Gunslinger. That is quite nice. I, I do like that. That is kind of cool. Uh, though a little bit odd, you'd think that once you do put a rifle stock onto something, it would count as rifle. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I like pistols. And of course, that means the death of our poor, poor animal over here. I'm so sorry, dog. Oh, Jesus, he exploded. <laughs> I, I think that was a critical hit. I think that was. But yes, that is the 12.7 millimeter pistol mod, which is just awesome. I really like this thing. I think it is a good rebirth of the gun from uh, Fallout New Vegas with some great mod attachments. I do like this... Uh, Rifle one. Oh, yeah, you don't even hold it like a rifle. You still end up holding it like a pistol. Interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. But yes, it's a very cool mod, very fun weapon. And if you would like to give it a go, and I would definitely suggest you go and have a uh, gander at it, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. But that is going to be it for this video today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next video, where we'll be looking at, hopefully, yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Wow, I even took out the Radstag in one shot. Awesome. I love this gun. All right, that's it. Later, folks.